Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Zipperspark, and you're watching my Sky Factory 4 Let's Play series. Last time, I was working on upgrading the mechanism setups that I have. Um, I still haven't done anything with the um, the chemical stuff, um, so there's that to come. But today, I wanted to uh, not do so much mechanism and um, work on the deep mob learning stuff. So, um, in order to start with that, I'm going to need to get some of the, the data modules. So, I pulled up here. Um, one of the first things to do is get a, a data model. And... Uh, Mix it with some rotten flesh to get a zombie one. Um, to craft these, it's all stuff that we have. Some, I guess, soot-covered redstone. Okay, so we will have to actually do that. Um, redstone repeaters should be vanilla recipe. Yeah. Um, yeah. So crushing redstone against a block of coal. All right. We can do that. Um, I'll have to get a bunch of that, I suppose. Um, yeah, and then what we do with these, well, we can get the different things, so, you know, we, we can craft them. Um, but then once we have one, we need to kill mobs with that in our hand. So we need one of these learners. Um, so we need to get the plates... So this is just any glass pane. Repeaters, so these soot covered plates are obsidian with the redstone. Okay. And then when you've got the data model in it, it has um a display that you can do things with and um yeah, as we kill the mobs, then we get extra bonus and, and stuff. So um I don't know how many zombies we're going to get at night just around here. It is almost night, so we can work with that. Um, but real quick, let me show you what I did here. So I was doing some exploring around, and I did manage to get a single Enderman. And that Enderman dropped a single Ender Pearl. And so I used that Ender Pearl to create the uh, Ender Pearl mud. Um, and I use that to make a hog, and then the hogs m make the uh, the truffles. So these are the ender pearl truffles, and then you can use those together to get the ender pearl. So this is what I needed. What was the um, uh, oh, it was the ender, the carrot, yes, and then the carrot, yeah, the ender carrot and the dirt and water make the ender pearl mud, so that's how we got that, um, and now, after getting another ender pearl, I made a second one, uh, and so now we have all the ender pearls we need, um, so what this setup is, these are just regular block miners, are on so any block in front of them they're gonna pop off then here I have this item collector in a 5x5 five five, so it encompasses this whole area here hey Valkyrie um, yeah so that collects them there and then the pipes them over here in the packager the packager will package them together um, and then this comes over here into the shipping container So I got a crate of the cobblestone ones and the ender pearls um i don't know if i'm gonna keep doing the cobblestone i mean it's just kind of there i've got all the cobble in there that right there um but yeah so this is nice we can have a whole bunch more crates and kind of expand the setup here um so yeah that was easy oh and the needs the end stone underneath and the end stone is craftable too and stone is craftable with this. So pouring lava on top of glowstone makes an endstone. 
So that's how I got those. All right. Um, oh yeah, solar generator that actually powers, well, when it's daytime, will power the packager so that it can do its work because it needs a bit of energy, not a whole bunch. And looks like we have some volunteers to be the first ones. So let's get, uh, hopefully before they go away, so we need the soot redstone. Oh, we need redstone. Redstone, and then a block of coal. Let's get a block of coal. All right. So just, yep, left click on it. All right, so I got my stack there. Okay. So we want this. We'll do this version. Oh, we need more of these. Lapis. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. And a flush. All right. Let's get this soot. There we go. Study guide. Put that in there. All right. So as we kill them, so we need to defeat six more, and then we're going to upgrade this tier, this one, to from faulty to basic. So let's see. Are they still over here, or did they peace out? I think they left. I think we put this in our offhand. All right. I don't know if these little guys count as zombies. All right, let's peek real quick. Nope, they, they don't count. Okay. All right, so we're going to need to actually go and attract some zombies. Um, I mean, the best way is, well, I guess we could stand here and wait for one to come running to us. All right, we got one. Okay, so looks like it's just a lot of running around waiting for zombies. Okay. Um, yeah, let me deal with this. And um, when, yep, when I'm ready. Oh, good, another one. You might be able to see this all on camera. I don't want that guy. All right. 
uh, two more. Do we have some wanting to come over and say hi? I don't see zombies. I see a bouncy creeper. Wow. 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 Okay, well, I'll get the wow. zombies. Wow. Wow. And I'll be back. Wow. 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 All right, just became morning, and I did just get my last um, of the. Uh, yeah, the. the blah, blah, blah. Zombies that I was waiting for. So we can see it's advanced here now. Now I need to de defeat 12 more, or basic. It's basic now. I need to defeat 12 to get advanced. Um, so then as it tears up, um, I could do things in the simulation chamber with it. Um, and then that's going to um, do even fancier stuff. So let's look at this. Um, and then when the next night comes, I'll go and kill some more and, and stuff like that. But so we're going to need a soot covered machine casing, which takes all things we've seen before. All right, let's craft one of them. Do, do. Simulation chamber. I don't know if I have that. Uh, what is one, two, three? And oh, the pearls. Uh, pearls. Oh. All right. Okay, we did get three out. We had only meant to do two, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, put one in there. All right, so this is going to need power, and I did string a piece of power over here. I wanted to kind of set this up over here on this wall. Now having it away from the wall may have been a good option, but I'll probably honestly stretch my wall out and kind of light up this whole area and kind of take over this section as well. Um, so looking at this, Please insert a data model to begin. So we have this one. So it's only basic right now. Um, I put it up there. You can't begin missing polymer. So what you're going to need for that is this polymer clay. Um, it's simple enough to create. And then that is used inside the simulation chamber. And um, depending on, so basic, I have. Um, looks like a 5% chance of the pristine matter and I would get the overworldian matter as well. So that's the big advantage of upgrading your data model is to get the higher chance of getting the pristine matter because the pristine, the pristine matter can be used for all sorts of good stuff as well. So let's get some of this polymer. Uh, we don't have clay. Let's get a block this way. Oop. Right. Do a stack of that. All right, fully healed back up. So we want to put this in. And our this so launching iteration started loading from chip memory testing threat level engaging enemy for shrink environment failed processing results boom so we get one overworld in matter now what we can do with that is um, you the you know crafting recipes so we can convert things into like mob drop type stuff um, 
Uh, we can get the hellish version, uh, do other sorts of cool fancy things. Um, this one we can get Nether Wart, Gas Tears, actual Blaze Rods, that's nice. Um, Soul Sand, Extraterrestrial, so we can craft that. That's going to give us the Chorus Fruit. We can make Nether Stars with the Wither Skulls and stuff. Um, Ender Pearls, more Endstone. Dragon's Breath, that's kind of nice. Liquid Chorus, okay. Um, so, yeah. Then this Pristine Matter, let's look. Pristine Zombie Matter. Um, it can be used to make a mob spawner. Looks like if we have Creepers, Zombies, Skeleton, Spiders, Choker Pearl, a Steel Frame, Eggs, and Nether Star. But in here, we can throw the Pristine Matter in the Loot Fabricator and get even more mob drops out of it. So, um, oh, we did get one pristine, that's nice. And then as this collects data here, like the, the higher the tier, I think the faster the data is collected. Um, I think, I, I can't remember if it can upgrade inside here as well, or just what, but, um, yeah, I think you can upgrade the, it'll upgrade inside the simulation chamber as well, but it does work better if um, you go out and kill the mobs. And then there's also like a, some sort of like ritual type thing you can do with it. Uh, let's look with that, the trials. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, so the trials, you can um, you, you kind of set up an area and you start the trial with using the the key and the the keystone um yeah this trial key putting it in the keystone and then i'll start the trial and then the mobs will spawn around you so if you put the zombie one in for a trial you're going to get a bunch of zombies spawn around you and then as you kill them you actually get more experience and data that way than you would by running around doing them like at night or at your mob spawner or whatever so let's work on that so I'm gonna let this run for a while and see just see if it upgrades the tier if that is the case then technically we could you know like craft a one of these it's gonna give us a faulty one but then once we get more like we could run it in the simulation chamber and upgrade it by itself um so yeah i mean this will take a while as it is so yeah i'm not going to make you wait as long but something to do with the energy um so i'll probably set up a bunch more of those and yeah be back in a bit Alright, so I had the simulation chamber running. Um, I did get my data model out. So if you look, it has 16 of 300 data now and it is at advanced and has been through 64 iterations because that's the whole stack that I put in. So I got the full stack of the overworldian matter and um, the pristine zombie matter as well. So I just crafted this. You see data collected is zero of six and it is faulty. So if I were to switch this out and put it in, this is insufficient data, please insert a basic model or better. So I do actually have to do the first six kills by hand. Um, so while this is going um, with advanced, and then as you see, the pristine chance goes up to 11 now. So um, I should be getting more pristine each time this one succeeded. So that's great. And then there it is. All right. So as this night falls, I am going to, looks like run around and get some skeletons. And actually, can I make another one? And see if I can get the creepers and stuff too. 
Steel Creeper. Can use another one of these. All right. And I think you can put two in at once. Yeah, and I think that has to be the actual creeper, not the bouncy creepers. Um, so yeah, let's put these away. Let's get my bow. I, oh, I have it on me, so I just need arrows. And there was a crafting recipe for these. All right. Did that count? It did. All right. Well, that makes it a little easier because those aren't quite as dangerous as those. And which reminds me, I need to clean up that hole there. Don't have anything on me. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just kind of sit here and camp the edges and wait for them to come to me. Maybe I will sniper duel some skeletons. There you go. So this looks like an easy way to do it. Just kind of perch up here. I don't have the zombie one with me, so I might uh, nope, miss. Got that one. Got him. All right. So yeah, it looks like I wait. Uh, I'll do most of this off camera, so you guys don't have to sit and watch me do it all. Um, but. I'll be back when I've got these at least to level one and um, can continue on. So be right back. All right. I did finally get the skeleton one upgraded to basic. So I plopped it in here and now it's going to give me um, that. Now the... I'm keeping the creeper one with me because it's actually not as bad to kill the creepers um, at night, uh, especially with the arrows because the creepers like come at you, the zombies come at you, the skeletons kind of keep their distance, um, but the the zombies and the creepers seem to be easier to do at night, and so I'm going to. Um, Keep these ones in my um, little module thing here. Uh, the, the what do they call it? The deep learner. Um, and then you can also see down in the bottom right hand corner. Um, it's kind of a little um, display of the progress you have. So uh, for the zombies, I need twenty three point three more to go to the next level. The creepers, I need seven more. Um, so uh, it just became morning uh, not too long ago so I'm gonna wait another you know a few nights kill some more things um, and then hopefully by that time we should get um, at least one of these up to um, a high enough level that we can um, do some uh, what do you call it uh, trials with it so hold tight for that and I'll be back in a bit Okay, I have decided that I'm going to try this trial. So I made some keys. Um, there was not too bad of a recipe. Ender pearl, two diamonds, and a couple iron nuggets. And then you use one of the keys with a soot covered machine casing. So some stone and two diamonds, and you get the trial keystone. 
Now, not sure exactly what we do with this, other than we set it down, we fight the bad guys, and there's a chance we die. So, let's pop this down. Um, Make sure 15 by 15 by 10 area is clear and the layer beneath the trial keystone is made up of full blocks. Also 15 by 15. Okay, so, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think it's height wise good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is it the torches? Seriously? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then One there, there, and over here looks covered. Okay, so we need to attune the key. Um, don't know exactly how that's done, so let's see. Let's try zombies for now. If we just like craft them together, no. Hmm, how to attune. Guide entry. Placeholder guide, install patchouli. Okay. And we don't have it. Okay, so I have no idea how to attune. Let's try the advancement book because it might actually tell us. Down the rabbit hole, loot fabricator. Hmm, okay, anything in these tabs? I don't see it. Well, yeah, not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up online, I guess, so yeah dude tune these are also sorcery stuff okay yep don't know how to tune unless it's like smack one in the face with it in your hand Let's try that actually. Come here, zombie. There. Oh, yeah, I died. It was uh, one of the headcrumbs mobs. Want the zombie? There's one. Come on. Come on.
Ah. You kill you kill one with them in your inventory. Now I have to both of them. A fix is blaze invaders. So I can get blazes that come in my trial. Okay, well, I'm going to want to put some armor on if I'm going to go into the trial. So what kind of armor do I have? Um, of course, that doesn't work. Um, leather, no. Gold, no. No, I don't have any armor at all, really. I guess not. Ah, uh, sure, I'll make diamond armor. Oh, well. I don't know if night is the best time for this. Um, but sure, let's try it. So, attuned key, waves, four waves. All right. I should make a shuriken or some other sort of um, ranged weapon that's a bit more um, quick than oh, ways. Zombie data model superior now. These guys left. All right, that is not too bad. So we got um, some pristine zombie matter for our troubles. All right, and then let's look at here. Our zombie one is superior now. And we only need 42 more to be self-aware. And I believe self-aware is the highest. Uh, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, that is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit more of that. Um, yeah, I'll make a shuriken. Um, what do we need for that? Knife blades, right? One. Yeah. And... Probably make it um, unbreakable and all that. So yeah, I'll be back when I've got that so I can at least show you how I did it. 
All right. Uh, one last thing real quick. Um, I have got another trial ready to go. Um, it's going to be zombie advanced tier. Um, even though I've got the, uh, the superior one in here, I think it's going to be advanced just because that's what it was when I created it. Um, but the, the shuriken I made, I made it with three of the prismarine knife blades and then one paper. And that gave it the writable two. Then I added five of the, um, the modifiers for the durability. Uh, these guys right here, the resistant modifiers. And um, actually, no, it was this one, the reinforcement. I did the obsidian all the way around. So any cast, uh, the easiest one is the blank cast. Um, you don't have to have anything in it. You just pour the gold in the, um, the table, and uh, it makes a blank cast. So I've got that um, reinforced all this up. So now it's unbreakable. So no matter how many times I fire it, it still has all 40 out of 40 ammo. Um, so uh, I'm going to start this, but I just realized I might want to make it slightly easier um, to stay within. Well, maybe, I don't know. Let's just start this and um, go from there. That is actually simple enough. to watch out for but the zombies themselves aren't that bad all right so let's finish this wave and then I can do my little sign off um, now, one of the things you want to do, and I don't know if these trials here that I have set up right now are even capable, but they're, they have glitches that will spawn sometimes with your trials, and if you kill them, you can get glitch parts, and they are needed... Yeah, they are needed in order to um, get the next, uh, the, the armor for it. Let's see. Right, so you get these glitch hearts. Um, and so from the trials, if you have the self-aware version, um, you can, it, it will drop them, but you can also drop them from the, the yeah, by killing the, the glitches. Um and then you bang them against some obsidian, just like we did the redstone, and then you get these fragments. The fragments can then be, um, let's see how, oh yeah. You have to drop lapis and gold with the fragments into the water. That makes the ingots. And then the ingots, as you saw, we can use to make the armor. And then once we have all the armor, um, like the whole set, then we have uh, Creative Flight. So definitely something to work for. Um, I definitely am going to work towards that. But um, the uh, the sword here is pretty nice too. Because it will help with getting the um, data models better, faster. So that is going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you would like to, um, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment if you haven't. Well, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment if you'd like to. Kind of got those mixed up a bit. But 
Yes. Anyways, talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.